Hello mga Mad to Siest! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, igagayt ko kayo kung paano nyo ba sasagutan ang learning task number 3 kung saan meron tayong problem solving involving linear equation and inequality in one variable. At eto na din ang huli learning task ninyo for the second quarter. Yay! Last na ito. So, natutuwa ako at nakasama ko kayo sa buong second quarter at sana sa third quarter ay magsasama-sama ulit tayo at maigguide ko ulit kayo kung paano nyo ba maiintindihan ang inyong mga muzos. Kaya kung go kayo doon, i-comment na yan dyan sa baba mamaya ha, pagkatapos nyo manood ng video na ito. Pero bago ko simula ng tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na din ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Okay, for your learning task number 3, you have to solve the following word problems. Okay, for number 1, we have here, the sides of the quadrilateral are consecutive numbers. Ibig sabihin, magkakasunod. If the perimeter is 180, how long is each side? So, pag sinabi natin quadrilaterals, ilang side yon? Okay, quad means a 4. Okay. So, yung measurement daw ng inyong quadrilaterals ay consecutive. So, kung ito ay x at ito ay x plus 1, sunod-sunod eh. So, kung meron kang 2, dapat susunod doon, consecutive niya. Magdadagdag ka ng isa. Tapos, magdadagdag ka ng dalawa at magdadagdag ka ng tatlo. So, you have x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. This shows na consecutive yung mga sides. Ngayon, since perimeter tayo, ibig sabihin, pag in ko tong mga sides na to, ang magiging total ko ay 180. So, you have side 1, which is x, and then x plus 1, and then x, wait lang, baba ko. We have x plus 2, sorry, we have here, Oops, what happened? Oh, teka. We have here, ayan. So, we have here x plus 2 and then we have x plus 3. Yan yung hahanapan natin ng mga measurements. So, we have here solution. O, oh, i-guide ko kayo ha. Iniba ko yung perimeter. Uh, sundin nyo lang yung procedure ha. Pero yung given ko is different from your given. Kaya baka mamaya kinokopya nyo na yung sagot dito. No ha. You have to solve on your own. Ito ay guide lang. So, you have x plus x plus 1. Okay. Plus x plus 2. Uh, this, this is this. And then plus x plus 3. Ang total or ang perimeter daw ay 180. Okay, now let's add x plus x plus x plus x. Ilang x meron tayo? You will have, correct, 4x. And then we have 1 plus 2. That's 3 plus 3. So you have 6. So you have here plus 6 equals to 180. O, alam nyo na yung gagawin dito, ba? Para ma-isolate si 4x, you have to transpose 6. Being positive, ano na siya? Magiging 180. Positive, pag nilipat, magiging negative. So, minus 6. So, you will have here 4x. Equals to what is 180 minus 6, you will have there 174. And then, copy 4x. Ang kailangan lang natin ay value ni x. So, para maging x lang yan, you have to divide by, or divide both sides by 4. And then, 4. So, cancel. So, x is equal to, what is 174 divided by 4? O, dito natin ha. Okay, so we have here 4. This is 16. And then, we have, how many is this? 1. Bring down 4. 14 divided by 4 is how many? You have 3, diba? And then 3 times 4 is 12. 
Okay, 14 minus 12 is 2. So, you have here 0 and then 0 point dito. Okay, now what is 20 divided by 4? You have there 5. 5 times 4, you have 20 and 20 minus 20 is 0. So, you have your value of x which is 43.5. Okay, ibig sabihin yung isang side mo ay 43.5. Mm. The second side, o oh, plus 1 daw, so 43 plus 1, you have 44.5. And then yung susunod, we have 43.5 plus 2, so 43, 44, 45. So you have 45.5. And then 43 plus 3, you have 46.5. So, the, anong tanong natin? The, oh, how long each sides? The sides are, okay, the sides are 43.5, okay, 44.5, 45.5, and 46.5, okay? So, etong x ipapalit nyo dito ha. Baka hindi nyo naintindihan, this is 43.5 plus 1. Ito yan, ha? Ito yan, ito ito. So, 43 plus 1, 44. Tapos, ito 43.5 plus 2. Okay? Kaya siya naging 45. And ganun din dito, kaya siya naging 46. So, that's it. Ganun nyo is to solve yung number 1. Okay, now for number 2. Inzo is 10 years older than Migs, 5 years ago. And Migs is one-third as old as Inzo. So, what are their ages? O, oh, hindi ko ito napalitan ha. Palitan natin siya ng 20. Sige, gawin natin tong 20 para hindi nyo pakopyahin yung sagot. So, Inzo is 20 years old than Migs. So, ano ang age ni Migs? Dahil si Inso ay nakasalalay kay Migs, ibig sabihin si Migs ay X kasi hindi natin alam. Si Inso, alam natin kung ilan taon siya, 20 years older than Migs. So, kung si Migs ay X, si Inso ay X plus 20. Now, 5 years ago, Migs is one-third as old as Inzo. Ibig sabihin, 5 years ago, o oh, lagay natin dito, 5 years ago, so, ito ay magiging x minus 5. Ito naman ay magiging x plus 20 minus 5. Pero, ano na siya? One third lang ng age ni mix. Okay, so paano natin ito isosolve? So, we have here x minus 5. Kaya tayo nag minus ng 5 kasi 5 years ago. So, babawasan mo ng 5. Equals to one third and then x plus 20 minus 5. Okay. What is 20 minus 5? Ito. Kailangan masimplify muna natin to. So, you will have your x minus 5 is equal to 15, di ba? This is 15. So, you will have 1 over 3, okay, times x plus 15. Okay? Since 1 times x plus uh, plus 15 is still x plus 15. O, oh, yan na lang siya. Kasi 1 times this 1 is still siya pa rin. Okay, over 3. And then you have x minus 5 equals this 1. So, ano yung sinabi ko? Anong gagawin nyo dito? Diba? This is over 1. You have to cross multiply. So, 3 times x, you have 3x. Correct? 3 times negative 15 is negative... Ah, sorry. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Nasabi ko na tuloy yung sagot. Equals to x plus 15. Okay, dahil may dalawa tayong x, yung x na yung mga yan ay pagsasamahin natin sa isang side. Tapos yung lahat ng walang variable sa isang side. So, eto, lipat siya dito. Kasama siya ni 3x. Kaya magiging 3x minus. Kasi positive siya, ililipat siya, magiging negative. Equals to 15, tapos ililipat din natin to from negative, magiging positive na siya. So, positive 15. Okay, so what is now this one? Wait lang, enter ko lang ha. So, this will be, okay, 3x minus x is how many? That's 
2x, correct. Tatlong x, bawasan mo ng isang x, 2x yan. Okay, now 15 plus 15 is 30. Kailangan lang natin ay x, so you will have here divided by 2, divided by 2, so your x is equal to 15. Ibig sabihin, ang age, kung anong ma-solve ma nyo dyan ha, magkaiba tayo ng sagot kasi magkaiba tayo ng given. Pero same strategy, same procedure. Okay, ibig sabihin, si mix ay ilang taon na. Okay, so mix therefore, therefore, mix is 15 years old. While, ma ilang taon na si Inzo? O, kailangan i-consider nyo to ha. Si Inzo daw ay x plus 20. Ang x nyo ay 15, di ba? Na-solve nyo, 15. So, i-add nyo dito, 20. So, 15 plus 20, while Inzo is 35 years old. Okay, so anong gagawin nyo? Ganun sa inyo ha. Yung masasolve nyo yung x plus 10 naman. Kasi ang original ay 10, di ba? 10 years old. Okay, that's for number 2. Now, for number 3, okay, eto medyo mahaba ito ha, pero kayang-kaya natin yan. An ex express train travels 100 kilometers per hour from station A to station B. A local train traveling at 45 kilometers per hour takes 55 minutes longer from the same trip. Now, how far apart is station A and station B? Okay, so you have station A and station B ang nawawala. Ito yung distance nila. Gaano sila kalayo? So, you have here train 1 and then you have here train 2. Okay, ano muna yung speed nung una nating train? That's 100 kilometers per hour. Yung second train naman is... 45 kilometers per hour. Now, let's have the time. Hindi natin alam kung ilang oras na travel ni train number 1, C, A, uh, B. Ito, ba Yung ating point B or station B. So, that's X. Okay? And then, ang alam lang natin, C... Uh, yung second train ay 55 minutes longer. So, mas mahaba siya. So, that will be X. Okay, plus, pero tandaan mo, ito ay nakalagay sa minutes. Dapat hour tayo. So, yung 55 over 60 yan. So, kung ang given nyo dyan ay 45 over 60 siya. Ha? Hindi pwedeng basta ilagay mo na lang ay 45 kasi minutes ang given nyo. Dapat nasa hours siya. So, i-convert pa natin siya. Now, to find for the distance, you have to multiply speed and time. So, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng 100 times x. So, that's 100 x. And this one will be 45 times, dahil dalawa to, nakaparentesis muna, x plus 55 over 60. Okay, then i-equal natin sila. So, for your solution, okay, you will have here 100x is equal to 45, okay, times x plus 55 over 60. Okay. I-divide muna natin yung 55 over 60. O, mga anak, gagamit ako ng pinagbabawal na teknik ha, para lang mabilis to. Pero kung kaya nyong isolve ng manual, isolve nyo ng manual ha. Pero this time, ipapakita ko lang kasi pag minanual ko siya, masyadong mahaba. Okay. O, ipakita ko lang sa inyo ha. Ayan na, ang pinagbabawal nating teknik. So, what is 55 divided by 60? Okay, that's uh, 0. Point round off 92. Okay, divide nyo muna to. So, you will have here now 100x is equal to 45 times x plus 0. 0.92. Okay, and then... Distribute this one, so you will have 100x is equal to 45x plus, okay, multiply nyo ito. So, you have here 45 times 0.92. 
So this one is 10, this one is 8 plus 1, 9. 9 times 5 is 45, carry 4. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 4, you have 40. So you will have your 0, 9 plus 5, 14, carry 1, and then 1, and then 4. So your answer will be 41.40. Okay, kaya ito ay 41.40. Okay, next is? Ito, kasama niya dapat yung may x. Kaya ito, lilipat natin sa kabila. Kaya magiging 100x. Okay, from positive, magiging negative 45x na siya. Equals to 41.40. Oh, what is na 100 minus 45? Okay, that's a 55x. Equals to 41.40. Now, para maging x na lang to, you have to divide it by 55, divide it by 55, okay? And then cancel, so your x will be equal to 41.40 over 55, but we have to divide, okay? So, we have this pinagbabawal ng technique ha mga anak, bawal ito. Okay, pero para lang mabilis na dito sa video natin, ipapakita ko na sa inyo kasi pag inisa-isa ko pa ay hahaba ang video natin. So, we have this. Okay, so your answer will be 0 0.75. Round off na ha. So, you will have here 0 0.75. Our x now is 0 0.75. Pero ang question natin, ito ay time pa lang ha ni chain 1. Okay, para mamit niya itong uh, this one. Uh, ano itong station B, sorry, para ma-meet nyo yung station B. Pero ang kailangan natin ay yung distance, okay, from A to B. So, para makuha natin yung distance, yung value ni X, multiply natin sa 100. So, for the distance, we have, okay, 100X. So, this will become 100 times 0 0.75. So, what is 100? Okay, times a 0 0.75. That will be, okay, 75 kilometers. Okay? So, ang sagot natin dito ay, therefore, okay, the distance between station A and B is 75 kilometers. Okay, this will be your answer. Ngayon, dahil medyo mahaba na ang video na ito, puputulin ko muna ha, kasi medyo mahaba din yung solution nitong part 4 or number 4 and number 5 natin. Pero wag mag-alala, i-upload ko i-upload ko rin agad-agad yung part 2 natin. Kaya wag nyo ang kalimutan na mahalaga ang bawat comment nyo sa video na ito. Kaya bilang pasasalamat, mag-thank you kayo dyan para maapit ang video na ito at makita rin naman ng iba. Kaya huwag kayong selfish. Laging tandaan. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye! O comment na!